Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply a genetic algorithm to solve the maximization problem in machine learning with the help of simple solved example. In the previous video, I have discussed what is genetic algorithm, what are the different steps in genetic algorithm. Also, I have solved numerical examples using genetic algorithm. Link for those videos is given in the description below. In this video, I will discuss how to apply genetic algorithm to solve the maximization problem. In this case, we have been given a function f of x is equal to x raised to 3 with a constraint of x in the range of 0 to 15 here. The first step in genetic algorithm is to decide the encoding technique for chromosome. In this case, the value of x will be in the range of 0 to 15. Minimum is 0, maximum is 15. So what we can do is we can use binary encoding to represent x here. So the minimum value is 0 which can be represented with uh, 4 zeros. The maximum value is 15 that can be represented with 4 ones. In between we can use or we will get different uh, encodings over here. So we can uh, use the binary encoding uh, to represent the chromosomes in this case. Now once you represent the chromosome, the next step is to select the chromosomes randomly for the first iteration. So in this case I will select uh, 4 chromosomes randomly for the first iteration. Uh, they are uh, 0010, 0100, 1001, 1110 here. And the associated x values are 2, 4, 9 and 14. Once you select the chromosomes randomly, we need to convert those chromosomes into a decimal values. Once you get the decimal values, next what we need to do is we need to apply this function and then the cal calculate the value here. So f of x is equal to x raised to 3. If you have the x is equal to 2, you will get 8 here. If the value of x is 4, you will get 64. If the value of x is 9, you will get 729. If the value of x is 14, you will get 2744 here. Now, once you uh, calculate these values, the next step is to calculate the summation of these values and then the average of these values. Summation means addition of all these things. Average means 3545, 5, that's a summation, divided by 4, which is equal to 886.25. And the maximum among these four values is uh, 2749 in this case. Once you calculate f of x, the next step is to calculate f of x divided by average of uh, summation of f of x. S average of summation of uh, f of x is what? This one, 886.25 here. So the first one is 8 divided by 886.25, which is equal to 0 0.009. 64 divided by 886.25, which is equal to 0 0.0722 and so on. Once you calculate these values, next step is to truncate them or we need to round off those values. So once you round off this particular value, you will get 0 here. We will Once you round off this one, we will get 0 here. 0 0.823 uh, will be rounded to 1. 3.096 will be rounded to 3 here. Now once you round off uh, these values, we need to look at these particular values. Out of 4, 2 values are set to 0 here. The meaning of this one is uh, we will not consider these two chromosomes for the next iteration. We will consider only these two chromosomes for the next iteration in this case. The meaning is we will consider this uh, chromosome and this chromosome for the next iteration. But uh, uh, in the genetic algorithm, once you select uh, the two chromosomes, uh, what we need to do is we need to apply the crossover operator. So once you select these two things, so we need to apply the crossover operator. In this case, what I have done is I have uh, selected this second chromosome two times here and then I have selected the crossover point randomly three. So after third point, whatever the uh, gene is there in a chromosome, we need to exchange it. So after third uh, uh, gene, we have zero zero here. So once you exchange it, we will get the same thing. So the new offspring or the new chromosomes are one 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 zero one 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 zero in this case. Now similarly, I have selected randomly. Uh, the two chromosomes for the crossover operator. So I have selected uh, this one first and then this one second here. So these two are the chromosomes for crossover operator. Again, the crossover point is 3 that is randomly selected. After third point, whatever the genes are there, we need to exchange them. So once you exchange it, you will get 111. This will become 1 here and 100. This will become 0 here. These are the new chromosomes for the next uh, iteration in this case. Or you can say that these are the uh, new offspring from the current uh, chromosomes here. Now, once you generate the new offspring or the new uh, chromosomes, 
what we need to do is we need to consider these as a starting point and then we need to apply the genetic algorithm again here so that is what i have done here these are the uh, new offspring after the first iteration what we need to do is we need to convert them into binary decimal values here i have done the same thing here once you convert those things into decimal values again we need to apply the function f of x is equal to x to 3 we will get these values in this case once you get these values we need to calculate the summation here once you calculate the summation we need to calculate the average and then the maximum value now if you look at this summation average and maximum value and compare it against the previous one previous summation was 3545 now it is 9375 and if you look at this one from first iteration to second iteration after applying the genetic algorithm the value of f of x is getting increased in this case the same thing will happen uh, once you apply the third fourth and the fifth iteration over here and the same thing has to be repeated until you will get the maximum uh, value in this case now uh, we need to calculate f of x is uh, this column f of x divided by average of uh, summation of f of x that is uh, 2744 divided by 2343.75 you will get 1.17 second one is 1.17 third one is 3375 divided by 2343.75 which is equal to 1.44 uh, this will fourth will be 512 divided by 2343.75 which is equal to 0.218 here now once you uh, truncate it or round it off you will get one here this will be one and this will be one uh, it is less than 0.5 so it will be truncated to zero here because the value is uh, zero we will ignore it or we will remove this from the next iteration we will consider only these three chromosomes here that is uh, these three chromosomes will be considered for crossover operator and generating the new offspring the previous iteration we have selected the chromosomes randomly we have sel uh, selected the crossover point and then we have generated the new offspring similarly from these three chromosomes we need to select randomly two two and then we need to generate uh, the new uh, offspring in this case once you generate the new offspring similar to the previous uh, iteration again we need to uh, convert them into a decimal value again we need to get the f of x value and then we need to get this column and we need to truncate it the same thing has to be repeated again and again until we will get the maximum value for this particular function here so in this video i have shown only two iteration but it has to be repeated again and again until we will get the maximum value for this particular function this is how we can use genetic algorithm to solve the maximization problem in machine learning i hope the concept of uh, genetic algorithm is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching